Well, there are a lot of different painting techniques, and tonight in our In Focus, our Sherelle Moore shows us an artist who focuses on one. You've seen watercolor, and probably an oil on canvas. But did you know you could get all those same effects just by investing in some acrylic paint? Whatever you can create with any other medium, you can get the same look with acrylic, but it's much easier, um, I think. Pamela Edivold has been painting since she was a little girl. She started doing portraits in high school and never looked back. I love anything with eyes, animals, people. That's the first thing I paint because I like them to look at me or at least be alive while I'm painting. Edivold decided to teach a class on acrylics to let people know how versatile and forgiving the medium can be. Acrylic is, was created in the 50s, so it's not very old. And it's making a lot of progress, especially in the last few years, it's come a long way. So it's really be becoming an accepted medium now and you can do so much with it. And it doesn't take much to create a masterpiece. Edivolt says you should start with the running faucet, then add the three primary paint colors plus white. You can even get cheap brushes. You don't want to use your most expensive brushes with acrylics because they, they get beat up pretty fast. You don't need to buy a whole lot of mediums or anything to start with. You only need water. Once you have your materials, then you can get creative. Some of them have beads in them, some have glass. Um, there's metallics, there's all different kinds of looks you can get by using the different mediums. Um, you can use, use them in collages and to create um, three-dimensional works. Uh, so there's a lot of things beyond just the tubes of paint that you can do with them. It's really, uh, your imagination is really the, the one thing that's holding you back. Today, the attendees in Edible's class were taught techniques in making clouds. Next week will be a barn, then they'll eventually move on to people and fur. While it's too late to sign up for this acrylic session, other art classes in Bagley can be found on the Bagley Arts Collaborative Facebook page. There's a jewelry class um, coming up. There's a watercolor class, and there will be more this fall that, that aren't listed yet, but there's more coming. Reporting in Bagley with this week's In Focus, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.